hello and welcome to another video of mine this will be the haul recap of may 2020 in here i am going to show you all the products that got added to my collection back in may 2020 either through purchasing them or receiving them as a gift or winning them everything that got into my collection during that month and yes let's get started with this video the first item i don't have with me anymore it was the abh liquid glow in perla i did get this as a gift with purchase when i purchased the palette bundle from the abh website so i didn't pay for it i tried it out but i did not like it it was the right shade for my skin tone because i'm quite fair but i don't like glittery highlights and it seemed fine but when you looked at it in the sunlight or in um, artificial light you would see it was so so sparkly and so glittery and i really don't enjoy this so i gifted it to a friend of mine and the palette bundle i purchased was a bundle of three palettes the ABH Modern Renaissance, the Novena and the Soft Glam palette. From them I also only own two right now. The ABH Modern Renaissance. This is how mine looks like now. So I did use it a lot. This is also currently in my Pandos eyeshadows. And the Novena palette and i did use this a little bit less this has been in my pandas eyeshadows before and this is my favorite abh palette i mean out of the three palettes i tried or oh, no four palettes i tried i also tried the kali bible one the kali bible one and the soft glam one i also did give away and declutter out of my collection and out of them this one is the one i like most and yes, this was my ABH purchase back then. And as I told you last month in my last haul recap for April 2020, I purchased a lot of the balm products because there were 50 to 70% off in one of our drugstores because they stopped carrying the balm. And I tried out a few products from them and then I went back into another store to repurchase some things and to find other products to try because the discount was just so good um, the first product I also don't have with me anymore it was the balm cheetah mascara and unfortunately I purchased a dried out mascara I obviously didn't return it when it was discounted that much but yes a total fail I didn't even got to try it because it was dried out the second product I purchased was this The Balm Sexy Mama Powder. Um, also a little bit of a fail because it's way too dark for me. Um, back then this was during COVID-19 times so they didn't have any testers out and I didn't get to see the color. I'm using this to set my eyeshadow primer and that's why I hit pan on it already. Um, it's too dark to use it on my face though. So that's the first item i still have in my collection from the balm and the second one the balm shelter tinted moisturizer this is the color light um i've purchased the color lighter than light in april and i enjoyed it that much that i thought i wanted to get another one and i tried out the color light a little bit darker than the lighter than light and that was my third purchase from the balm back in May 2020. And one of my favorite products from Douglas is this Brow Definer Brow Gel. I purchased two of them because I already knew them from before. Um, they were on sale because they, I think they discontinued this, at least the sheer one or the translucent one. I think they have a, some of them with color still left in stock. But I purchased two of them back then because I knew they are going to discontinue them or I wasn't able to find them anymore. 
and yes I have one of them left right now the other one I already used up and this one is also on its last legs then I also I don't know how it got into my collection I don't think I purchased it maybe I purchased this I don't remember the Mario Badescu cucumber facial mist and I actually did really enjoy this I think it was the first time I tried out any product from this brand and I did enjoy it I'm currently thinking about repurchasing it again and I also did have the Blüte Zeit body butter in walnut which I already used up again as well I did not enjoy this and I would not recommend it or repurchase it and then I won my biggest giveaway ever I think I won 24 of the Essie Expressly nail polishes um, some of them I gifted I mean I tried all of them and some of them I gifted to a different friend of mine and I'm going to show you the ones that are still left in my collection that I didn't give away so far I didn't use up any of them this one in the color not so low key 290 misfit right in in 270 Seize the Minute in 190. Scoot Scoot in 230. Get a Morph on 220. Mic Drop It Low 250. Trend and Snap 30. Second Hand First Love. 10 and this one as you are able to see is almost used up already because this is my go-to color when it has to go quick because these dry very quickly and I can wear this color to any kind of occasion so if I'm in need of a nail polish that has to dry quickly I'm always reaching for this one buns up in the number 60 all things zero 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 or oh 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 I don't know I don't know maybe you can see it here in 130 strong at 1% 150 saffron the move 110 in a flash sale 160 Cold Brew Crew 70 Precious Cargo Go in 320 Binge Worthy 360 And the last one I kept now or never 380 With them I absolutely love them They do differ a little bit I think the one with shimmer in them are a little bit different other than that I think they perform very nicely and very similarly the most issues I have with this one which was in the color 30 trend and snap these chips quite easy on me but all the others don't and they dry very very quickly they don't need a top coat and I really really do enjoy this one or these ones I am so happy that I won this giveaway and was able to try all these colors out and also the formula out because they are expensive in my opinion and yes I'm very happy to have them in my collection and to have the variety to choose from so many different colors in a very very nice formula then I received this Nivea Sun SPF 30 um, I think this is okay I like the sun cream I don't have any problems with different sun lotions so I'm not the person to ask when it comes to sun care but this is already used up I think no this is already a new one and this is almost already used up again as well same with this one this is a repurchase I got this Nivea Q10 power serum in a box for free 
and I enjoyed it that much that I already repurchased this and I still do love this. This is such a nice product and my skin really does enjoy this. And with those two Nivea products there was also a lip scrub and I don't like lip scrubs so I gifted it right away to a friend of mine so I cannot say anything about it. Then I purchased a pharmacy box and in there were two sunscreens. The first one is this by Bioderma with SPF 50 for your face. I am currently using this and I really really do like this one. And the second one is Ladival, also SPF 30 for your body and I'm currently using this one as well. And I like that this is a sprayer and I also really do like this one. And in there was this La Roche Posay after sun as well. I didn't try this so far because I didn't have a sunburn yet. Same goes to this Nuke Sun After Sun Hair and Body Shampoo. I didn't try it yet, but I'm kind of waiting to have a sunburn to use it. I mean, I don't want to have one, but in case I have one, I want to have this still in my collection. Then there was a foot bath from Knipe in there and I already used this up. I'm not the biggest fan of foot baths so yes it was okay. And one of my favorite finds out of this box was this Aloha Paradise shower gel by Tete Sept. Um, this is a repurchase, this is called Hello Paradise now and I absolutely fell in love with this scent and I constantly used it. I used it up very quickly and I already purchased it two times and this is the second one. Another item I already am um, very close to using up is this Avan water spray. I do like this during the summertime but yes. I definitely would not repurchase but yes anyway this I got back then as well and in the box was also this Lirac Paris body micro peeling and I didn't try this one again yeah I'm not the biggest fan of peeling so yes this is still in my collection untouched then I also purchased the Bioderma micellar water. I did try this. I did use it to remove the fallout when doing my makeup underneath my eyes and I really do enjoy it for this purpose. Other than that I don't use micellar water so I'm not planning to repurchase. And two items I purchased as well were this La Roche Posay. Um, this is the night cream and I also or was it a gift with purchased when I purchased this night cream was this cleanser from the Tolerane line Tolerane Tolerian I don't know um, this is the ultra night cream I tried this before I absolutely love this that's why I repurchased this and this I got for free I was happy because I do like cleansers and I like testing them out but I have to say that I don't really do enjoy this. I'm trying to use this to clean my brushes now or once in a while but I don't really enjoy this one. And this Sebum Mate Anti-Dandruff Shampoo I did use up again already as well. This is a repurchase because I like it as much and I'm always repurchasing and repurchasing this. I think this is my third or fourth bottle of this one and I think it really does help so that's why I really like it and it's not that expensive for an anti-dandruff shampoo. Then the last item I don't have with me anymore was the Rituals of Sakura face and body spray. I got this as a gift and I just recently used it up I think like two months ago or so. So you just recently saw it in my empties. I did enjoy it but I think I went through it way 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 too quickly. So it's too expensive for the product in my opinion. And the last product I purchased and still have in my collection is this Max Factor Cream Bronzer. 
this is one of my favorite bronzes. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued. I tried to get my hands on a backup, but I couldn't. I didn't find it anywhere anymore, unfortunately. I absolutely love this. This is fabulous on my light skin tone. It blends like a dream. I don't know. It's like it's. I'm so mad that they discontinued it. It was such a lovely product and unfortunately I think it wasn't hyped up enough or I don't know. I really do enjoy this one and I'm happy that I still have it in my collection and I'm able to use it still. So these are all the items that got added into my collection during May of 2020. I know this is quite a lot, especially when thinking I already decluttered and used up quite a few products. But yes, I'm still very happy with my purchases and the stuff I got because there are favorites in here. The Novena palette I love, the Tinted Moisturizer by The Balm I absolutely love, the Douglas Brow Gel, the Tete Sept Shower Gel, the Cream Bronzer, this night cream, this serum and also the SNL polishes I absolutely love. So I'm, I mean, this was a great month <laughs> to be honest. And yes, that's it for the whole recap of May 2020. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a very, very nice day. Bye.